Hi! In this video, we'll look at how you can maintain an authenticated session in Burp. When testing, some actions may result in an application terminating your session. For example, an application may automatically log you out if you submit suspicious input. This may prevent you from performing an action like fuzzing with Burp Intruder. Burp enables you to configure a session handling rule to automatically log back into an application. The session handling rule determines whether a session is valid. If it's invalid, it will run a macro to update the session cookies and log back in. You can follow along with the process below using ginandjuice.shop, our deliberately vulnerable demonstration site. The process consists of these three steps. Identifying whether a session is valid or not. Configuring a session handling rule. And finally, checking the session handling rule. First, we need to identify whether a session is valid or not. In Burp's browser, log into the target website using valid credentials and visit a page that can only be accessed once authenticated. For example, the My Account page. Then, log out. Now let's see what happens if we try to go to a page that requires authentication when we are not logged in. If we go to the My Account page, we're redirected to the login page. If we go to the Proxy HTTP History tab, we can review these requests in more detail and see that the response to our attempts to access the My Account page when not logged in result in a 302 redirect to slash login. We can use this as a way of determining whether our session is still valid. Next, we need to configure our session handling rule. To do this, click on Settings. Under Sessions, Session Handling Rules, click Add. Go to the Scope tab. Select the tools and URLs that you want the rule to apply to. In most cases, use the default tool scope and the suite URL scope, which in this case we have already set to be Gin and Juice Shop. Go to the Details tab and add a unique rule description. Under Rule Actions, click Add, then select Check Session is Valid from the drop-down menu. Under Inspect Response to determine session validity, we can specify what we see when a user tries to access an authenticated page when they're not logged in, and specify the aspects of each in-scope response that Burp should inspect for the expression. In this example, we'll set locations to URL of redirection target, so Burp will inspect the location the 302 redirect sends us to. Under Look for Expression, we can add Login, as this will be specified in the redirect location. For Match Type, select whether the expression is a literal string or regex. For Case Sensitivity, select whether the expression is case sensitive or insensitive. And under Match Indicates, select Invalid Session. Under Define Behaviour Dependent on Session Validity, select If Session is Invalid, Perform the Action Below, Run a Macro. Click Add. You should now see the Macro Editor and Macro Recorder dialog. In the Macro Recorder dialog, select the Login Requests, then click OK. If you're using Gin and Juice Shop, select the Get Login and the two Post Login Requests that send the username and password details. Keep clicking on OK to close all open dialogues. You should then see the rule is added to the list of session handling rules. Once we've created a session handling rule, it's a good idea to test it out and make sure it works. So to do this, in Burp's browser, make sure you're logged out of the website. Then, in the proxy HTTP history, Identify a request for a page that you can only access if you're authenticated. For example, if you're using Gin and Juice Shop, you can use a Get My Account request. The request should contain a session cookie that is now invalid because we've logged out. Right-click the request and select Send to Repeater. Go to the Repeater tab and send the request. Notice that the session cookies automatically update. Review the response and confirm that you've logged in successfully. 